Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from rubyguide.com and in this video you're going to learn about Rails two methods and these two methods are very important they are, they are include and joins joins and include these are two very important methods that you use with your active record models. So in this video, you're going to learn what this method do, how they work, and why they are important. So let's do this. Okay, before, really quick, before we get started, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you can get more videos like this, and visit my website, rubyguides.com. Okay, so the topic of this video, like I said, is these two methods I have right here. One is includes, and another is joins. First thing that you need to know and notice is that these are in Plural, so it's includes, it's with the S at the end, and it's joins, okay? And why are these methods useful? Well, let me show you some examples. Let's say that we have a books model. Right here, I have book, and I have an association relationship to another model, which is comment. So in the book model, we have has many comments. Now, what they want to do is to find out which comments, sorry, which books have a comment ID of two. And this is the syntax to do that. But if I try this, I get uh, an error. And the error says, no such column comment ID. So what's the problem here? Well, I know that the column exists. And you might want to check if you're not sure. And what's missing here is that we need to add the column into the query so that when we do the where and remember where is using for filtering we can actually use the comment table so to do that you can do it in two ways one is to use joins and the other is to use includes and that's where these two methods come in and we're going to see the differences which are very important so by default, you can use include, and here we have to say comments, which is the name of this particular Rails association that has many comments. And now this works. Works because now we have include the comments with the book, so we can filter through the comment ID. In this case, the results is an empty relation because there are no books with a comment ID of two. Now to understand the difference between includes and joins, we have to look at the actual SQL output. So this is SQL, this thing right here I have highlighted, this is SQL. If you're not familiar with SQL, SQL is the language for the database. And Rails generates this for you. That's why Active Record is so helpful because it takes care of generating this language for to talk to the database, right? But if you look here, we will notice this thing. It says left outer join. And I will explain what that means. But first, let's do the same, 
but this time this time I'm going to use joins instead of includes. And you can see that we get the same result, an empty relation, empty relation. So the result in this case is the same, but the SQL query is different. So I'm going to highlight the difference, which is this left outer join. And in here we have inner join. Okay, so that's the difference. And this matters because these have different meanings for the database. So what's the actual practical difference for you? Well, let's find out by removing the where. Okay. Now, if I, instead of where, I use size. So I can count how many books I get as a result. You see that I get one, okay? And if I do this with includes, um, and you have to spell it right, I get four. So we can see that there's a difference between how many books we get when we use joins and when we use includes. And What's the difference? Well, the difference is that when you, you use joins, okay, now let's see the actual output. When you use joins, you only get, you only get books or whatever your model is. This could be users or articles, posts, anything else. In this case, we only get books which have at least one comment. So that's why we get a different amount of books when I use joins that includes. So what this means is that inner join, and this is how you can remember this, joins, it just joins the matching values. So we look through all of the books, and we try to match them, well, the database, we try to match them with comments. And it will only give you books which have at least one comment, right? So that's what joins do. Now, the difference with includes is that includes, it will give you all of the books, whether they have a comment or not. But if they do, if they do have a comment, then it will be it will be included so that you can use it as part of your word clause, your word uh, method for filtering. And for another reason I'm going to show you. So this is not only for where, it also has another very important use when it comes for to performance. So if you care about performance and having a fast application, this also, what comes now, next, is also very important to understand. So we have just seen the base difference between include, which produces this left, as we can see here, um, left outer join. And what that means is include all of the books whether or not they have a comment. But if they have a comment, then include it. That's how you can remember, remember it. Or at least how I like to remember it. Includes means include all. And joins means it just match books with matching comments. So joins is always less, less results. So now let's see the so now let's see the other part where it's very important to use include. And that's when we have, imagine we are inside a controller and we're going to do something like books at book.all, something like that, right? So we do that and 
So we get all of the books into an instance variable. And then from the view, let's say that we want to print how many comments every book has, right? So that will look something like this book, book dot comment size. And something very interesting happens here. And this has a technical name in Rails. So you see that we have four books, right? We saw that books.size. We have four books. And in here, when I try to, to print the comments, how many comments are for each book, we get this. So what this means is that we're doing one database query for each book. One database query for each book on top of querying for the list of all of the books, right? So imagine that instead of having four books, you have million books. That means that you will be doing a million database queries every time you load this page. That's not very good for for performance, right? And the name for this is called an N plus one query. Where does that come from? Well, N is how many um, books or users you have. And plus one is this list, the initial query, right? So to fix this, we need to the book includes comments because we're going to use the comments. We're going to preload all of the comments with the books, which is done in this query right here. And then when I do the same thing as before, now, we don't get the n plus one problem. Now we get a more efficient use of the database because we include all of the comments when we requested the list of books. So that's the performance implications of using includes. And also I show you how to use includes and joins for when you want to use where, when you want to filter by some attribute of the comments, like a specific comment ID. So that's joins and includes in Rails. I hope you learned something new. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. If you want to learn more, watch more videos right now on the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And visit my website, rubyguides.com. rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.